This kid is insisting to play with his tractor. I don't know what you got planned here, but something. Oh, you just wanted to get yourself all wet and drink funny. One coin, one decision, one fate. <laughs> What is so important that you need to bring me along, huh? What? Oh, you want me to sit down? You want me to sit right here and watch you the whole time? Are you gonna lay down and play? You want me to sit here and watch you? <laughs> yeah. This kid is such a nerd. I don't know why he does this. Probably, I guess he just is comfortable with me around, but he insists that I come outside with him and hover over him, but he'll do this. He'll lay down and play and not even pay attention to me. But if I go in the house, which is literally just in that door, I'm always just inside that door keeping an eye on him. So he can see me, but he still comes in, drags me out by my hand, and makes me stand near him so he can play. He's just a silly little butt. What'd you find there, bud? A rock. A rock? We just, um put some water and some sand together so he could make some little molds out of these little uh, these little things but then he decided to use an excavator so anyways good morning <laughs> um, yeah we're just hanging out it's getting close to um, lunch time for him which is like 10 um, so he'll we'll probably be having some leftover Chinese food that'll be good oh, we got Francois Hi Francois, come here. That's Francois the cat. Francois the cat that moved into our house when we used to live with Nana and Gramps. What, you want more water? You want mommy to get some for you? Can you say please? Please. Okay, give me the cup. And the Chinese you, I don't know if you can reach. And I don't want you to spill it, okay? Mommy will help you. Hold on, please. Okay, what are we gonna do with this? Are we gonna go outside? Okay, be careful, please. You're gonna pour it in the sandbox. You're gonna make some wet sand. You're gonna drink it. Shovel. <laughs> you need a shovel? Here's a small shovel. You wanna scoop it with a small shovel? I don't know what you got planned here, but something. Oh, you just wanted to get yourself all wet and drink funny. You crazy kid. That's all right, that's what change of clothes is for, which we do often through the day. Isn't it you doing to me? You want to make a little guy? So these, I will document this. I refer to these as little guys. So when Xavier wants to do one, what do we call this guy? Is that a little guy? And we fill him up with sand. Let's get some good wet sand here. You wanna go make a little guy, buddy? Watch this. Watch this. There he is. I did a little guy. See? Oh, don't throw sand on. Oh no, why'd you ruin it? All right, that's enough little guys. Okay, buddy, let's get down from there. We don't need to stand on that. Do you want to help mommy see what's in this box? What did we get, a box? Yeah. Oh, we need to color on it. Good job, buddy, that's helpful. All right, what is it? What's in there, buddy? Oh, I see a lid. It's a lid. Oh, let's open it up. Oh, it's a pan. Oh, yay, a pan. That's a pretty nice pan, huh? Can you put the, oh, you're gonna put that in there? Okay, thanks. Yes, there we go. 
Thank you, buddy. Yeah, mommy's new pan. So we got this, like, it was like this ceramic non-stick pan, or like a ceramic lining or something. It was white. I think we got it, picked it up at Target, and uh, it just, it was not non-stick for very long. I find like non-stick stuff pretty much all sucks. Some just last longer than others. This is uh, definitely non-stick, but um, it's the same quality as our pots that we've had for years, so I'm feeling pretty good about it, and I like that it's not too big. It's good for cooking eggs or uh, grilled cheese or something. So yeah, I can't wait to give that a test drive sometime. Next turn, are you excited to see Nana and Gramps? The back seat. Back in the yard. Back in the yard, yeah. One coin, one decision, one fate. <laughs> okay. So the story though, to re re rewind a little bit, is we don't know if we want to stay at home and watch a movie because I've been standing, sitting inside staring at screens all day. Or do we want to go get like a Starbucks and wander around somewhere at the store. And so we are going to decide. So heads, we watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 out of the shadows. Tails, we'll go to Stargate. Okay. Ready? Yeah. What is that? Uh, it's tails. So it's target. It's target. Okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> We're doing it. Going for a ride. Do you want to tell the folks what you decided? Yeah, after flipping the coin and it settled on Starbucks, I realized I'd rather go back home, and I felt like I secretly wished the other one came up, so I think that was a sign. So now we're going to watch Ninja Turtles, and I'm going to have hot chocolate. And you're going to have chai and popcorn, it looks like. Yep. Yeah. And then we're going to turn that frown upside down. <laughs> See? You already smile a little bit. Xavier will be coming home soon from Nana and Gramps. Me and Tom just cleaned up the house a little bit, so it feels nice this evening. And I just packed up uh, my first Zodiac Dragon to go to its new home. It was Gemini, snagged by one of my patrons on Patreon who got first dibs for being a subscriber and contributing to me each month. So thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate it um, for everything, for wanting the Gemini Zodiac Hatchling and also for helping me on Patreon. So it, it's, it's awesome that you are such a fan to do something like that. So it just inspires me to want to do more artwork and stuff because people like you just really really motivate me to want to keep continuing this dream and that it's possible and I'm just so happy so thanks this kid is insisting to play with his tractor I don't know if you can see him but that's his butt and his leg sticking out and this dark thing is his tractor it's a very large tractor and he's right now burying himself under pillows because he won't wear a blanket but he likes to be buried under pillows He's kind of a weird He just didn't want to let it go. I tried to switch it out for a softer toy, but he wasn't having it. And you know, you gotta pick your battles when it comes to kids. So I thought I'd just keep an eye on it with the baby monitor and take it away if it looks like he's bumping into it or something. But he'll probably be fine by the time I join him in a couple hours. So yeah, that's that. And it's the end of the day, so it's time to end the vlog. Thanks you guys for watching. Hope your week is going pretty well. It's been a little tiring for me and Tom, but um, you know, it should turn around soon, hopefully. Sometimes you just have those weeks. But anyways, hope you guys all have a good evening. Bye.